excuse me. Ah, another beautiful day to face the truth. <coughs> I'm gonna go out here and coach in this uh, pretty much 100 degree weather. You gotta stay hydrated. Uh, I'm excited about being a pioneer and a, a chief engineer and leader for these young men that are signed up to do something greater with their lives in the future. So that's where I'm headed, which is a great thing. And um, my concentration today is on disappointment and why you shouldn't worry about it, especially if things don't appear to go the way you want them to. In the relationship world, which is just a connection between two people or more, sometimes it don't work. And sometimes things have a duration and sometimes things are short and seasonal and they cut to pieces. And that is what it is. But what I don't want, and what I'm saying is my command, is don't hurt anybody. You know, that woman don't want you, that man don't want you. Um, don't kill them. Don't uh, cut them to pieces, don't bust their windows open, don't do anything to their kids, um, don't do that. Grow up, uh, be an adult. The difference between kids and adults is Adults are not supposed to have temper tantrums. So grow up, uh, be a man and be a woman. Uh, if you don't like somebody, then you know, I think you need to tell them. Not allow them to just hope and you just wishing and praying that they go away. Be a man or be a woman and just tell them. I think it cuts down on some of the negativity, some of the hatred that we have out here so I've been barking about relationships don't work. I'm not proud of them because I want relationships to work. I want people to feel good about who they are. I want people to love themselves and then that can transfer into loving somebody else. But we'll never get there until there's an awakening, some type of horizon where people can, can, can gut themselves of all of their filth that's inside of their lungs and body dump that stuff into the trash can and refill it with new wine. Then and only then can we start to have a glimpse possibly at what Martin Luther King Jr. was talking about in a dream before we can even think about it. So this is relationship talk. Right now relationships do not work. And if you think they do, then you need to look around. You know, um, relationship is getting his ass kicked. But it's not relationship that's losing, because relationship actually is undefeated. What I mean by that, the people are getting their ass kicked. That's trying to copy or lie about or visualize that they're in a relationship. We're not talking about love, because love is another animal. Love is, love is forgiving, but love is powerful, and love is the highest form of transformation you can give to somebody. If you want to see love, just look at a mother with her child. That's love. The um, unconditional ability to love that little bad child regardless to what they're doing. Supporting them all the way through, that's love. But we're not talking about love right now. That's a whole other segment in case y'all want me to go deeper into that. But y'all probably don't care what I talk about. It don't matter. But anyway, relationships, I want them to work. I even want brothers, fellas to be able to, to communicate and have a relationship with each other. Not no, I'm not cheering for nobody to be all tangled up in the bed or nothing like that. I'm just saying, have a, a comfortable respect, acknowledge, you know, see if we can boost each other, uh, confidence or help somebody out to get into a position financially to do better for themselves, to try and promote a man to finally have a strong desire to take care of his family and not flee. And so the women have to monitor the way you're treating, you know, the man in this situation. You gotta watch it. So if you think you can just run off in the mouth and say whatever you want to from a disrespectful manner, if you don't know you're disrespectful, I'm telling you now, you are a lot of times. A lot of times you are, and you can tell because you can't keep no man. They don't want to be bothered. They want to be around you. 
you know so that's just the truth and you can get mad if you want to i know nobody's going to comment because nobody's brave enough to do anything like that but just listen to what i say and take it uh, racism still running rampant and it's causing relationships to struggle so i'm saying if you are on the other end of uh, success whether it's poverty poorness or can't get a relationship that's successful and you need to pay attention to yourself um, today is a hot day again stay hydrated for those of you that are active and those of you that are not and keep sitting on your bumpy ass and do nothing and continue to be who you are and when you complain don't get mad when you don't have no audience so I'm getting ready to go out here and do this 100 degrees deal but I'm excited about it I'm excited about the challenge of going all the way to six o'clock so probably a good five six hours of pounding let's get it going get this football thing cracking get the schedule moving get our game we got a game in 19 18 days I'm excited about that let's go out here and play have fun uh, be successful we got to do something with this energy a lot of us are testosterone built people don't think football is a sport we shouldn't keep playing because of concussions but what are we going to do with all this power and energy we like to be moving we either going to be fighting somebody shooting somebody or playing football can't be intimate because don't nobody want to have sex so um <laughs> thought i'd slide that one right on in there bow uh, that's about it that slide no i'm just kidding but um anyway back to trying to be serious slightly um have fun enjoy your day if you are productive great if you're not productive great 